But be, before coming to business, I am the chairman of Mikuyo Council. I am in Nairobi. The unity of a country is very, very important. And it is possible, Yahweh Zekana, if we all come together, together. And humility is very key. Very, very key. It is not about chest thumping. It is not about arrogance. It is the fact that you can be locked in three times like Honorable Raila Amolo Udinga and come back and mix with those who locked you and work for the country. That is what you call humility. That you can work with the people who locked you because you stood your ground for what you thought was right for the country. If we do not build our economy, we will not be good anywhere. Wale wanazugumza mambo ya mamba mboga, boda boda, mi sina shida nao. But those mamas to sell mbogas, you need somebody with money in their pocket. Tuko pamoja. Ukita kupanda yo boda boda lazima uwe na pe? Na pesa. So ni muhimu tujenge uchumi, watu wawe na pesa, waende kwa mama mboga, wanunue mbo? Mboga. Wachukue boda boda, wapande boda boda, waende pali, wanae? Wanaenda. And it is so important that our counties, a county like Nakuru, should be a center of production. So that you have manufacturing, you are selling things, our young people are employed there. That is how to build the economy. And we must have the right policies. Broadside, broadside declaration and policies will not help this country. Is that this country is more important than any single person. This country. Now, this Jumuiya Ya Umoja. The Declaration of Unity, Azimio La Umoja. This is a journey we are starting that will end in August 2022 as in installing the next government. And I want to speak to the people of Mount Kenya because we have been speaking. Nasisi kama viongozi wa Mount Kenya, tumejipanga. Mumetuona, tukizunguka, tukisema we are putting our heads together, we want to bring our people together. And we also want to bring knowledge and the truth to the people of Mount Kenya. There is no way we will agree to go to opposition. Kuna mtu wapa nataka kuenda opposition. Sisi ndo tunakuanga kwa serikali. Na hatuta kubali wakati huu, tudanganywe, tuende, tujikute tuko opposition. Na niwambie kwa nini? Kwa sababu mnadanganywa kuna watu. Hati mtu wakitokea kwa barabara, uone crowd, unasema uyu ndi wataingia state house. Crowds tumeziona miaka ngapi. Lazima uone Kenya in the context of elections. We cannot have, and I said this the other day, dividing Mount Kenya in the guise of trying to convince them or cheat them that they will be in government when we know very well it is not possible. Kwa sababu kiangalia upande wa nyanza, iko locked. Iko locked ama iko locked. Ukienda upande wa western, pia uko iko? Ukienda upande wa coast, pia uko kuko? Ukienda northeastern, kuko? Ukambani yote, iko pande? Nairobi, Pia, Nakuru, Zikuwa and your cities, Zote Ziko, Sasa, Unaingia status na Kuragani. Your Excellency, Inawezekana, I believe Inawezekana. Because it is about time to free Kenyans, to free Kenyans from this tribal enclave that we are in. And we have said, let's stop hiding our heads in the sand. It is true that we still look at each other as tribes. Melting point of tribal conflict and political, you know, disruption 
is Nairobi. You will not believe that when we go into elections, a place like Huruma becomes two Hurumas across a road. There is a Huruma on this side and you cannot cross the road to the Huruma on that side. Why as Kenyans would we ever want to continue in that state? Please, from the people of Mount Kenya to the people of Nairobi, I say this. We are not ready. We are not ready at this time to be isolated further. And if you have not realized that the invasion of Mount Kenya is to isolate us further, please open your eyes. Because when this movement begins, and as Mount Kenya we are not in it, we will be isolated much further. You cannot promote the fraternity of, of us as humans by bringing class war or ethnic war among us. So we must be together. We really must be together. If we mean well for Kenya, there are nearly three million small businesses between here and Tharaka Nivi. What we want is to grow them. 600,000 uh, 600, of those SMEs are in this Nakuru County. We want to grow them. We want to expand Kenya industrial estates so that in every county it is active. To expand industrial development bank so that you can grow your businesses. ICDC. That is what we are looking for as a region. That is how we shall grow the economy. And we cannot do that in, this, in an environment of fear, in an environment of recrimination. We must reach out to one another. No, 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 Mambo imeenda mbaya Asua mambo ya uchumi Because of two major things Corruption number one Ya pili tribalism Kwa sababu corruption Those who have been given opportunity To serve wanainji Because our government is there to serve you Instead of serving you They enrich themselves and this has affected the growth of our economy. We had projected that in 10 years, from 2008 to 2018, our economy will grow up to 10%. If it grew up to 10%, we would have created more jobs for our people. This has not happened. The best we have achieved is 7%. And unless the economy grow, where are you going to get the jobs of all these people who are coming out of uh, schools? And the other thing is tribalism. You have been given opportunity to serve Kenyans. And you start, start serving your tribe. Not even your tribe, your village. We need leaders who can create an enabling environment for our people to thrive. That's all. And let me say, let this be a beginning for our country to be together. That you cannot claim to be a president when you are only running 50% of your country. You can come from anywhere and be somebody. Where anything can be something and you extended your hand of friendship when he needed it most. In Kikuyu, we say that friendship is a journey. It is not something you arrive on day one, and that we all have an opportunity to cultivate a good working relationship, a journey that we'll all go together, a journey of trust, a journey of hope, and above all, a journey to emancipate our young people, our economies, and together bring the nation together.